truth is truth. Meghan lawyer defense for her terrible boss's claim went belly up royal never mind. Royal commentator Victoria Howard has told Australian television that Meghan Markle's lawyer defense of the Duchess in the BBC documentary struck a chord with the royal family. This narrative that no one could work for the Duchess of Sussex, that she was too difficult or demanding a boss, and that everyone had to leave, is just not true, says Jenny Afi in a teaser for part two of Princes and the Press. Ms Howard told ABC News Australia, I think what has really, you know, struck a chord with the royals to release the statement is that Meghan's lawyer was actually given airtime to refute some of the claims that were made about her. And secondly, it's kind of removed some of this mystique about the royal family, being a family and not just kind of being officers working together. I think that that was the key thing that I took away from it. That actually this is showing that everything isn't as rosy as we always think. She added, and actually, they are quite dysfunctional, more than we might normally imagine. It comes as Prince William and Kate's royal household, Kensington Palace, were alleged to have been behind an awful lot of leaking concerning the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Royal expert Robert Jobson has told Australian news outlet Sunrise that briefings on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had particularly come from Kensington Palace. The recently aired BBC documentary The Princes and the Press contained allegations that royal households were briefing the press against Meghan Markle and Prince Harry during their time in the royal family. Sunrise host Natalie Barr asked Mr Jobson whether it was true that some of the royal households had been leaking about Meghan and Harry. Mr Jobson replied, without a doubt, I mean, yeah, absolutely, I mean, they can deny all they like until they are blue in the face nut there's been an awful lot of leaking from, particularly from Kensington Palace about how things were developing. The royal households have reacted angrily to the new BBC documentary, with Buckingham Palace reported to be indignant. BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell has reported anger within the royal family over the new BBC documentary which examines the relationship between the royals and the UK press. Mr Witchell said there was irritation at the BBC documentary, which first aired on Monday night, in a number of royal households. He told BBC News there was irritation in the royal households. Though the royal correspondent pinpointed Prince William as having been left feeling very raw. Mr Witchell, especially on the part of Prince William, we must remember that he still feels really quite aggrieved at the BBC over the Panorama interview with his mother, the BBC of course roundly condemned in the Dyson report, these feelings are very raw, and they have been exacerbated by these two programs that princes and the press. Meghan Markle the Duchess of Sussex was forced to send her lawyer Jenny Affia to defend her against claims she was a difficult or demanding boss after the allegations were put forward in a new BBC documentary. In the two-part program Ms Affia, of Shillings, appears on camera defending Meghan. Meghan though told Ms Affia, who represented her in her case against the Mail on Sunday, to appear in the program defending her against claims in the press dating back to 2018 that she had been a difficult boss, resulting in staff leaving her household. Presenter of the documentary Mole Rajan says in it, the Duchess lawyer spoke to me with Meghan's permission. Asked about the reports of Meghan's difficult behavior Ms Afia said, those stories were false. This narrative that no one could work for the Duchess of Sussex, that she was too difficult or demanding a boss and that everyone had to leave, is just not true. She adds in a trailer for the second part of the documentary, the overall allegation is that the Duchess of Sussex is guilty of bullying. To which Amol asks and is she? To which Ms Afia says, absolutely not. As well as claims against Meghan the documentary airs allegations about the entire royal family, suggesting members briefing press against each other to cause discord.
the princes and the press contained allegations that royal households were briefing the press against Meghan Markle and Prince Harry during their time in the royal family. Sunrise host Natalie Barr asked Mr. Jobson whether it was true that some of the royal households had been leaking about Meghan and Harry. Mr. Jobson replied, without a doubt, I mean, yeah, absolutely, I mean, they can deny all they like until they are blue in the face nut there's been an awful lot of leaking from, particularly from Kensington Palace about how things were developing. The royal households have reacted angrily to the new BBC documentary, with Buckingham Palace reported to be indignant. BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell has reported anger within the royal family over the new BBC documentary which examines the relationship between the royals and the UK press. Mr Witchell said there was irritation at the BBC documentary, which first aired on Monday night, in a number of royal households. He told BBC News there was irritation in the royal households. Though the royal correspondent pinpointed Prince William as having been left feeling very raw. Mr Witchell, especially on the part of Prince William, we must remember that he still feels really